Okay guys, so this is a little bit different of a type of tutorial. This is more just a kind of a short um, kind of introduction to a fairly easy way to get uh, like freelance work. But now keep in mind, you've got to keep, you know, you've got to, uh, the jobs that you're going to be applying for or going after it needs to meet your skill set. You don't want to be trying to do stuff you're unable to do or can't do. Um, I, I, I've done some, maybe 10 or 12 during, it's not really my interest per se, but uh, I've done, you know, worked with 10 or 12 different clients in different times and with Inkscape and, um, you know, it's just one of those things where I'm not necessarily, I like kind of doing my own thing, but some people really enjoy working with customers, with clients like that. So uh, this is an easy way to do it. And this is Upwork.com. You may have heard of it. Anyway, first thing you need to do is set up a freelance account at Upwork and it's a pretty straightforward deal so I'm not going to go through that but then once you've got your freelance account set up like this um, you can actually you'll go through and you can do different searches like right here I have some I guess saved like graphic design logo design design and creative um, you know search like t-shirt design whatever you feel what kind of work you feel like uh, you're comfortable doing uh, search for that and then what you'll do is you'll come in and these are the actual posts of people looking and you can also choose us only which that uh, but yeah you can change that to where you can do worldwide or us only but uh, so anyway you'll see different stuff like here it says fixed price entry level um, uh, you know I need a creative person a logo for my business and you know that may be someone who's interested and you go in here and you click and you see what they want now these the ones that say adobe and like this one here it sounds like they're just trying to i read that a minute ago uh it just sounds like they're wanting somebody to just really crank out designs and stuff which if you're comfortable with that fine but this right here the one thing and i think i touched on that on one of my tutorials maybe but um the one thing you'll run into for print inkscape uh you don't have the cmyk uh, abilities that Illustrator does. So the color file, the actual uh, color keys and stuff that you send out could be different than what they're doing. Now that's different with RGB, like like uh, like merch or uh, you know merch by Amazon or Redbubble or Printful or Print Aura or Cafe Press or any of those where you're like sending a design in and then they're you know print on demand type t-shirts pretty much all of those are fine with designing an Inkscape the one thing you'll run into is somebody may have a local printer they're working with so uh, but again that's just a you know just where you know you say I, I prefer Inkscape um, I know we can work around this if that's what you want to do usually I just pick stuff that I know Inkscape's going to be going to work good for and you don't have to be the greatest designer in the world some of these people are just wanting their uh, like their logos updated and stuff like that um, and, and so it's like you know you can just look and it's like well you know you just look until you find something that fits you fits your skill set and fits what you can do and then when you get that kind of feeling like well I can do that you know so go ahead and and now what I do and it's pretty successful the way to do it to get people to catch your attention um, is, is you're gonna kind of be doing some free work You know, um, I've got some examples. I guess I should have pulled those up ahead of time. Uh, let me see here. Man, I don't know. I've got. I, I'm. I'm the most disorganized person. Uh, I, right offhand, I'm drawing. Actually, drawing a blank. But anyway, I had. Uh, what I do, I think this. May, no, that's. Anyway, I'll just use this. So, say somebody's got a new brand. That's something that I made. Actually, I own that name, but um, or did, but. Anyway, somebody, you know, say, I've got this company, blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. You go ahead and literally try and find something that you're able to create a design for, you know, and, and just, you know, just take it as far as what you think would work for them. Say, hey, you know, I, I saw your ad here and, you know, you're, own, you know, you're opening up a new uh, pet grooming salon and the name is so-and-so. And I thought that was something, you know, that really fit uh, my interest or however you want to word that. But then go ahead and literally, because you can attach a file when you apply for a job, uh, and you attach the file of the work that you've done. And you just say, you know, this is kind of a rough sketch because I, I would need more details from you. Um, but, I, you know, I'm pretty excited about the project and, and hope we can work together soon. And what that does 
and, and everybody's not going to like your designs but one you're practicing uh you know because you're already i'm assuming you already practice quite a bit anyway or whatever just you know learning inkscape so this gives you a chance to kind of think out of your own little box so to speak and you kind of take on a client's uh, idea of how they're wanting things done and it kind of opens stuff up to you as far as well you know uh, keeps you from getting stuck in a rut I guess you'd say uh, but anyway so what, that's what you do and you get uh, scroll up here and you get 60 available connects and it's like right now it says I got three submitted promote proposals again a lot of proposals you won't hear back from um, but when you do they're usually pretty excited and they're like wow yeah that's really you know that's really close to what i was looking for and and uh you know and they kind of hire you on the spot for that stuff and then just stay in good communication and, and be pleasant and uh try you know just try and meet the, their needs the best you can make sure you understand how to export files which i think i've done a tutorial on that also but just, you know all this stuff you can just youtube it just uh search on youtube and that's how i learned to use inkscape that and uh, there's a couple pretty good groups on Facebook. So, um, but anyway, yeah, let's open one of these up real quick. And I'll just kind of tell you what I'm, uh, just kind of give you, okay, landing page design, the intermediate, estimated budget. Now, this does say Adobe, we'll skip that one. Logo design, that's a good one. Uh, it, does, it still says Photoshop, but anyway, we'll go in here and their estimated budget, 50 bucks. They just posted that two hours ago. And, and most of the time, in, or in my case, and this is a good one, because when they attach pictures then you're like on the right track where you can you know what i mean they're trying to give you an idea of what they're wanting so you can take these photos uh my name is uh, brandy company uh, needs to be a symbol and one name for its use on the design of the photos or for a possible design uh, so generally they've gave us a an idea of what they're wanting right here okay okay so they've got it drawn out and see literally i can literally copy and i'm just giving you an example here but i literally can copy and throw that and that may I don't know if that works on Windows and Mac but that's how I do it I use Linux so I'll just copy and paste his uh, picture and then I literally can just come in here and again I'm not gonna do this whole design but I'll just show you how what I would do in a case like this you know because a lot of times it just didn't set it for ellipse like I, again I got a tutorial on that of how to do things like this and you can just come in here and trace his design this is going to be terrible, guys, but I mean, I'm just kind of showing you. You just go back. I've got you. Well, actually, that's a little thick. But anyway, you're just going to go in here and um, take the time and trace his design. That's pretty elaborate. You know, it's, there's going to be some time involved. Uh, but, you know, he, he he's taking it this far. He's pretty much wanting his ideas digitized. And that's what you, you're able to do with Inkscape. So you come in, and again, because I'm so zoomed in and stuff, you can tell this specific job would be pretty time consuming but i also think it'd be very rewarding uh by the time that you uh are done uh but anyway so you just come in here and and uh oh, but you just come in here like i said I, i've shown you before as far as how to trace designs and stuff like that uh, so you just come in here and and like his it looks like he's trying to be symmetrical so the good thing about that is that, um, man, that thing is just, that spiral is kind of tough. Um, anyway, it would take some time, but see how he's trying to be symmetrical. So technically you're only going to have to do about like this. So I would design half this half and flip it. And then you're only going to have to change the stuff that he has changed. You know what I mean? But all this stuff, I would just design and flip all the symmetrical stuff. And again, it is just time consuming, man. I just, it's not the idea of this video. Uh, but yeah, that's, you know, you just, again, I, this stuff takes a lot of practice and even when you do, after you do a lot of practice, it doesn't, uh, it still takes time, but you just go in there and make one, you know, everything that's, uh, he's trying to be symmetrical with, just, uh, go in there and I'm trying to figure out how to do the spiral where it looks decent. That's not bad. Um, just like it's something that kind of looks like we're going in the right direction that's a little square sorry guys i think this may be a ocd thing or something i just because that spiral is hard i don't guess i've ever messed with it 
So yeah, you're just gonna have to use short. You're not gonna be able to go around half the design at a time. But uh, yeah, see how we got the flat spots and stuff, and you straighten all that stuff up again with the different tools we got as far as uh, being able to, you know, straighten it. But already, you know, I mean, that's kind of not great. But again, I mean, if they want a hand-drawn look, you know, boy, that looks like crap. But usually by the time they're done, and you keep messing with it, and this isn't a lot. I would, personally, I wouldn't do this one. It would just take too long to where, I mean, I'm talking... I, I don't know, that looks like four or five hours worth of work just to, you know, make it look decent. To me, I mean, you can maybe go through it quicker, but there's just a lot of having to go back and line and stuff up unless you use, uh, like, a spiral tool. Then you're not going to have the ellipse effect to it or something like that, you know. But anyway, that was an example, and it was a very poor example, but I'm just trying to show you. So this is a, but this is a good example um, of what I'm talking about, like when they've got the images attached like that. Uh, you know, he's got some color on that one, and it's so you know that I mean, that could be, and actually, that one would be easier to trace because he's already come back and outlined some of it. Uh, so, anyway, and that's what you do you come in, you say, you know, and you'll get the design looking good, get it in a PNG file. Most of the time, they're like, yeah, and you, you know, you're only able to guess what they want, you know, to a certain extent, anyway. So, they're going, yeah, but I'd want to change this and change that. But the main thing is just getting them on board and kind of seeing their idea in a vector drawing. And then, uh, honestly, like I said, if you if you peg away at this even an hour a day, you know, like, because you've got 60 connects, or that's how mine is. I'm assuming yours would be the same. And you got 60 connects, and they're usually about two connects per, like, job that you request. So that's like one a day, you know what I mean? Because that's going to give you about 30 connects. That's about average of 30 days in a month. So if you just did pick out, hand pick one you're really interested in and just kind of do what I'm saying and do that one, you know, kind of try and do one a day or you have that option available because you got the 60 connects. But anyway, guys, that, um, that's really all I had on this. But I was just thinking, you know, most of you are probably wanting to, you know, at some time or another kind of make money. And this is one way that just be, it gets you going on some clients. And again, client uh, customer service is what it's all about. And good design, of course, you know. And I mean, if you can meet their needs, because again, there's like, I've worked with, uh, you know, I don't know, uh, maybe a dozen people or something like that on you on uh, Upwork but um, you know it, a lot of times it's there's really not that much they, they consider it design but like you know sometimes like one and he had like three of them I mean I made like $75 of just using state outlines and putting text in the state outline because he's paying me like $25 a piece and I was like you know this is something uh i mean anyone like within you know within 45 minutes anyone can have the skill you can learn the skill to do what he was wanting me to do on inkscape so you know that was a deal to where i made like 75 bucks and, and it just didn't take me much time which we talked back and forth quite a bit because i just want to make sure he's getting what he wanted and he was kind of giving me a lot of backstory and stuff so but uh anyway guys uh, that's it that's all I had. I just want to kind of give you a lowdown of a way to pro, you know, potentially pick up some freelance work. And uh, again, if you do this and you're you're uh, you're kind of uh, disciplined about it, uh, you'll get work. I can almost guarantee. Because I mean, I've got work in writing, I've got work in design, and then I've there was something else, you know, uh, that I was going after for a while. And it wasn't hard to get clients to work with. Um, it is time consuming until you gain a lot of experience because you just got to try that much harder to meet their needs. But, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, guys, if you got any questions, I'm not an expert on this by any means, but I'm saying just go over to Upwork and sign up and just start reading through and seeing what they're doing over there because you can definitely pick up some work because I've done it and I know a lot of people that do it. And if you scroll through there on other freelancers, like you can also have a, a client you know create a client account and you can actually see what other freelancers are doing and i mean there's a lot of them making you know six figures on here and stuff so that's that you know, what's you know you can create agencies and blah 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 but this is a good way to pick up some uh some easy uh you know freelance work and it'll get you in that you know get you in that mindset of working with clients and stuff but anyway if you got any questions i'll try and answer like i said i'm not an expert but uh i appreciate you guys watching and hopefully i should come out with a different inkscape tutorial soon i've been really busy lately but uh i'm changing jobs and moving and all kinds of stuff right now so but uh anyway hopefully this helps and guys just get in there and see what you can do and just go in with the best intents you know i mean worst case scenario is like man sorry i just can't do it you know uh, whatever, but uh, you know, if you're going with the best intent and believe you can do it, you probably can. So, all right, guys, uh, what I wish the best of luck to you, and um, hopefully, you can pick up some freelance work from this. That'd be awesome to have some uh, some cash rolling in. Talk to you later, guys.